Hello there, some wet and windy weather in the forecast over the next few days and that's certainly the case overnight into Sunday. Here's how the pressure chart looks, an area of low pressure out towards Iceland. These associated weather fronts bring some wet and windy conditions for Northern Ireland, Scotland, into Northern England and North West Wales overnight. Sunday we start with this weather front across parts of Northern England, parts of Wales and the South West, bringing some outbreaks of rain. It will tend to fizzle out as it works its way South East, the rain becoming increasingly light and patchy. Behind it something drier and brighter, one or two showers in the north and west of Scotland. Ahead of it, it looks like it will be largely dry and bright. The temperatures in the southeast a little warmer than Saturday, a maximum of 23 degrees Celsius. As we move into Monday, we're between two areas of low pressure. The next area of low pressure brings some disruptive winds late Monday into Tuesday. But for Monday, it's looking like a decent day, a bit more in the way of cloud to begin the day for central and southern England, but it will brighten up with some sunshine developing. Good deal of dry weather, but I think there will be some outbreaks of rain in the north and west. Temperatures in the southeast a little warmer. We're looking at highs of around 24, 25 degrees Celsius. Elsewhere, we're looking at temperatures in the high teens low 20s. Now it's later Monday into Tuesday, there's potential for some disruptive winds. This area of low pressure is in fact the remnants of Hurricane Helene, brings some strong winds and outbreaks of rain. It does look like it will have largely cleared the north of Scotland as we move into Tuesday. Tuesday brings some outbreaks of rain in the north and west, one or two showers for parts of Wales and the southwest, just pushing into central England as we move through the day. Temperatures in the high teens, low 20s, but it is looking like a windy day across the board. These are the wind gusts, but I think in the north we could see gusts of 50, 60 miles per hour, perhaps a little bit higher than that on exposed coasts. As we move into Wednesday, we're looking at another windy day. You can see the isobars still tightly packed here on the pressure chart. This feature looks like it could bring some outbreaks of rain to the north and west again, parts of Northern Ireland and Scotland. One or two showery outbreaks of rain working their way east again as we move through the day. Temperatures generally in the mid to high teens in the north, perhaps reaching 22, 23 degrees Celsius in the southeast. As we move into Thursday, this front is the boundary between the warmer air in the south, something fresher and cooler in the north. It does look like it will be active. I think there will be some outbreaks of rain where we have that front, a little bit of uncertainty into exactly how much rain. Behind it, it does look a bit drier and brighter, a, fr a fresher feel to things. And again, the warmest temperatures to be found in the south and east with highs of around 20 degrees Celsius. Towards the end of the week, we see a dip in the jet stream and that brings some, some fresher conditions across the board. It looks like that will be fairly short lived though and we will see something warmer returning. We'll also see a ridge of high pressure starting to build and with that high pressure it looks like there will be a lot of dry and bright weather into the weekend across the south. It does look like it will be a bit more unsettled though the further north you go, breezy, breezier conditions and the chance of seeing some outbreaks of rain. So the outlook for this week, well, it does start off on a fairly windy note. There is the potential for some disruption, so do stay tuned to the forecast. It will be warm for a time, then turning a little bit drier and brighter as we move into next weekend.